The next few experiments deal with polarization. Uh, I'm going to do a brief intro for each just to remind you uh, a little of, of the context uh, for each of them. And the first one of them is going to be optical activity. So hopefully you remember this from the course, but optical activity is the ability of um, certain materials to rotate the polarization of light as it passes through them. So we spoke a little about some of the materials um, in the uh, previous course, the light science course, uh, that exhibit optical activity, <laughs> that exhibit optical activity, optical activity, that exhibit optical activity. Um, and today uh, we're going to make use of some of those. Now I'm a diabetic, one of the materials that is optically active is diabetic urine, so usually that's what I would give you in the labs, but this year I have to handle it myself. Um, so what I'm going to do is make it with uh, a sugar solution. So I'm going to show you how to make up the sugar solution in case you want to do this experiment yourself at home. Um, but it's really simple. Now to be clear, you don't need this much sugar. This is just my lunch that I took from home. Um, but, oh yeah, hold on a second. Yeah, so this is just my lunch that I took from home, um, but we'll use it a little of it to make up uh, make up um, make up some sugar solution. Um, but nobody else can have any because it's mine. Um, and then we're we're going to just measure, roughly speaking, the effect on polarized light. Um, so we don't really need to talk any more about this. Let's get on with the experiment. <laughs> 